welcome back slash welcome to the Heathen Hedge Witch. I am Runa Strong and this is my channel. And on my channel we like to talk about things like paganism, witchcraft, mental wellness, and everything kind of underneath all of those umbrellas. And today I'm going to be talking about one of my favorite holidays to celebrate as a pagan and a witch, and that is Beltane. So if Beltane is something you're interested in chatting about, please keep watching. As always, I've got my notes here, so if I'm looking down at anything, I'm just checking to make sure I don't miss any information. Please feel free to get yourself a snack, a drink, and a little something to toke on, and let's get into the video. Beltane is a holiday that takes place somewhere between the very beginning of spring and the very beginning of summer, and it's one of my favorite holidays, and I like to celebrate basically for like a week before and a week after Beltane because I honestly love it that much. I know. I know. But it is what it is. I love this part of the year. Because it is the counterpart to Samhain. Really attracted and drawn to Samhain, especially as a medium who can talk to the dead. It's really cool to see all the energy coming through. And I get a similar feeling with Beltane, but instead of the energy of the death coming through, it's the energy of life. And so we have a lot of abundance, a lot of fertility, a lot of prosperity around us. Now traditionally, something that you would see done is a maypole, where people take ribbon or some kind of fabric or yarn or something, and they dance and they hold it in one hand and they dance around the pole and they put their wishes into the pole, and that's how they manifest good things throughout the next growing season. Now, I do not have a maypole here, however, eventually, someday, if things go according to my plan, we will have a retreat for pagans and witches to get together and do healing and stuff together, and Beltane will be the time of year when people can come and camp, and we just do a big celebration for Beltane because it's a beautiful time, and I think we will do the same for Samhain as well, just because they are both very big, community-based, fire festival type holidays, and I just love them. So, as I've just said, one of the things that you can do to celebrate Beltane is to have a fire, to go out and to burn stuff. And preferably, if you are a landowner, the stuff that you burn will be shrubbery that has died from perennials that needs to be removed so that new growth can come through, or any down trees that fell during the year, or maybe some stuff that you got to clear out for a new garden. Things like that will be primed to clear because you are literally clearing the old energy to make room for the new. And that is very symbolic for what Beltane is kind of about. Other things that you can do to celebrate Beltane are to have sex. I mean, sex magic is awesome and I'll make a video about it in the future because it definitely deserves its own video but yes have sex get laid even solo sex it counts okay it totally counts please have some fun and pleasure yourself again as some of the more traditional things that you can do for Beltane that would be working in your garden working with your crops whether it's actual garden stuff that you will be eating or medicinal plants or magical plants that you will be hard harvesting to use for your craft. These are great things to get going at this time of year because you will have that Beltane energy in them and they will really flourish. I also really enjoy going out and getting in water again because living in Michigan, things freeze. Things freeze and they stay frozen for a long time and even if they aren't technically frozen, they are still freezing temperatures and kind of dangerous to go into unless you do the Wim Hof thing, which I haven't started yet, but I do have an interest in. So I'll keep you posted on when I start branching out and exploring with that. But I just thought that I should say that it is also a great time to go play in water. If you are a water baby like me and you feel most at home and most comfortable splashing around or diving into waves or something like that. This is a great time of year to do that, to celebrate the holiday. It doesn't have to be just what the traditions say. You can do whatever you need to do to fully embody the spring and summer energies around us because right now we are surrounded by both and it is beautiful. Another thing that you can do to celebrate the holiday is to embrace the things that you are passionate about. And yes, that is also sex, which we've talked about, but that goes beyond sex. Maybe you really like drawing, or you're really good at writing, or you like video editing and you haven't started a YouTube channel yet. Why haven't you started a YouTube channel yet? But either way, it's the time. Now is a great time to start new projects and to get your foot in the door on them. And will you be perfect at the start? No, but it's a learning opportunity and you will grow and you will be thankful for this time. Taking those steps and really setting out to do what it is that you're passionate about. 
the fire energy. I'm telling you, fire element is strong through Beltane. It is so prominent in fire results to creativity and it also results to quick action so if you like doing fire spells whether it be candles or burning your petitions something like that throwing stuff into a fire now is a good time to do that kind of magical work as well it is important to note some deities and higher beings that you might want to acknowledge during this time definitely the fae if you are the type to work with the fae and also the vanir if you are a norse pagan or bell the celtic god or Anything like that. Any, like I said, any gods or goddesses that work with abundance, that work with prosperity, that work with fire, like Loki, he is a good one to honor this time of year as well. Because Beltane is fire energy, Beltane is creativity, Beltane is passion, and that is all Loki too. Another thing I might recommend for people looking to celebrate this time of year is to get out to nature, to really see what you can forage in your local area or the area that you might be visiting this time of year if you are more of a traveler than a stationary folk. And that's fine. And get out there and do, do the thing. Um, something that I did recently to celebrate is cut my hair. I got rid of all of the old dead ends I'm almost to the point now where I have hardly any hair that has been lightened chemically. Um, I still have obviously the pink bits down there that are blonde underneath, but for the most part my hair is all healthy regrowth and that's something that I don't allow myself to do often. I don't allow myself to see my natural hair color often. 2020 kind of pushed me to that because I couldn't get to the salons in Michigan for a very long time. It was just really hard to get in there. and. I kind of like it. I kind of like seeing my natural beauty and seeing what I can do. Granted, I know I'm wearing a lot of makeup on my face. But that's besides the point. Because I'm enhancing the way that I like to look. And I'm enjoying the darkness that is my natural hair. It doesn't have to be bright and pink all the time. I can enjoy that dark, natural, chocolatey color just as much. And that's something that I think we can embody in this holiday as well. Is finding the beauty in nature, and not just in nature as in plants, but within the nature of ourselves and who we are as people. So I wish you all the best of luck enjoying this Beltane. This probably isn't the most organized video, but that's okay. That's all I have for you today. Pretty short, simple, quick little talk about Beltane. Tell me what your favorite things are to do in this season down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and tuning in with me. I hope you are having a great day. Please enjoy your Beltane. I will see you soon with another video. I think I might just switch to one video a week. If I have any time to put together something extra, it will come out on Fridays. But I really want to be able to investigate, or investigate, what? I want to be able to invest more time to put out more quality content that is both worth my time to make and worth your time to watch, because that's what's important for all of us. So until next time, I will see you later. Please stay weird, think like the madman, Odin himself, and above all, take care. I love you. Love and peace. Bye.